What's going on, dudes? It's General Santucci with another Rome Online multiplayer battle. This is a six-player free-for-all. Scored resolution, CWB, 15k denari. So you can see how I have my army set up, my five urban cohorts. Two Praetorian Cavalry behind them. And I got three Triarii. I have them. One here, one here, one behind my Cavalry. And I got here, because uh, I know um, CWB, you're allowed to have six archers. So I brought seven. So as you see what I'm doing right now, I'm charging, dude, because this jerk-off brought artillery. How wonderful. So everyone's like, all right, guys, let's have a truce. Um, let's all gang up on the guy of the artillery. But I'm there before they can even, you know, really do anything. So he's just wrecking me big time right now with our artillery. So what I do is I try to chase back some of his uh, dudes here garbage troops. This guy is obviously a noob. Nobody sets up their army like this. So, what I really wanted to do is come around and hit his uh, artillery, but he charged units into mine, which I need to get the hell away from these. But I say, you know what, they're garbage. They don't really look like they're upgraded. So I turn this guy around here, this Praetorian, strike him, and then come around and hit him with this one. And I don't know why he's chasing me. I don't know. He's chasing me with his knives out here with these dudes. So let's see, we just smoke this dude. Because I see this and he doesn't have too many at the front. They're all, you know, thinned out there. Um, so that was easy. So he just sends a bunch of dudes and uh, I, you know, this is a mistake here. This wasn't, they, um, they didn't have a chance to get in position. They all just stopped right where the enemy was. So you see Tree REI in the middle or in the front of this army here, which is really stupid. I want to keep him in the back. But my my objective is still to um, take out uh, his artillery because it's not working. <laughs> it's not good. So he ratted a couple of my archers. They just, they, I don't know why they had to get that close. They went up to the front there. He sends his garbage cavalry in here. Boy, did I get slaughtered. Tries to charge my dudes, but... I mean, it's if he, I, I wasn't sure if he made it out of here, but if he did, dude, seriously, he's lucky. Because those Urbans, dude, they're way more upgraded than his guys. But I'm really upset about this uh, fail here. So, uh, you know, my Triari being up front and all. So I sent my uh, general out here. I'm trying to take out some of his, uh, take his artillery crew out. My guys are gold gold. I have my archers trained on them too. But, um, these guys do route. I just want to make sure that he isn't, you know, they'll come back and, you know, him strike these guys. My general's in his unit too, I think, or one of them. Yeah. So what I should have did is pulled all my tree REI to the back there. But what I'm doing here is I'm going to start, oh wow, look at this. I have no idea why they're fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat. That was pretty stupid. This makes no sense. This is like why I love glitch. I mean, the glitches happen all the time in this game. Like I tell my archers to fire at a certain unit and they decide to stand there and get owned. So these guys are surrounded a bit. So I'm fighting uh, his tree REI with urban cohort. Give you his overhead view here. My uh, cavalry is still chasing dudes. You can see what I do here. There you go. Just finished. Oh, yeah. So remember, this is scored resolution, and um, now I'm just having pot shots at these guys. I'm chasing them with my cavalry. I set up my archers to start striking the hell out of them. Uh, I'm gonna kill as many as I can. I mean, why are you sending, you know, Hastati? This is like the most garbage unit ever. I have one urban cohort unit, just one guy, and he's taking on all of these dudes, man. He's like, ah, oh, get off me.
It's like, oh, get off me. Look at this. He's just like, get off me, bitch. All right, here comes my, here comes the general. He's gonna save the day. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, that urban cohort unit still alive. He's just like, yeah, what? As far as I know, he's alive. If he's not, then I just killed him. <laughs> Whatever. So I brought my archers out here, told them to fire. I don't know if they fire or not, but yeah, they're doing it. They're just whooping some freaking butt. So I, look, I got uh, this one urban cohort unit uh, is pretty depleted. Twenty-nine men. It's pretty bad. But you know, this they're happy. Some of these tree REI are winded, they're tired. Oh, I don't know why the archers are they it doesn't matter what you could stand here for like two hours and your archers were tired or winded before, they're they're still gonna be winded. So I have my archers just blasting these fools right here. Look at this. Good night. My uh general's coming up on them. Pretty sweet. Nice. So yeah, I lost a bit of cavalry uh, uh, out of my general's unit, and out of this unit too. I mean, it wasn't easy. You, uh, you're probably gonna. Um, I got my little boy with me here. You're probably gonna hear him. He's eating and. Biting someone's face off. It's pretty cool. Oh, Gaul got smoked. So, uh, what we got over here? Uh, this, uh, oh, I look at these freaking chariots, dude. That's straight murder. Those are the things you gotta worry about. So, he's still fighting, um, these spearmen here. I don't know. I said, this is say they have a bonus versus cavalry, so. I don't think they have anything to worry about. This is a pretty unorganized army right this second here. So, yeah. So he's got his pikes up here. I mean, if he took them off guard mode, I'm pretty sure he would slice right through them. He's still got some, uh, there's some still some cavalry here. Got some here. Oh, we got these two guys just chilling up here. We got Massanon not getting kills. So he's most likely going to lose. And he's got um he's got a bunch of guys. Oh uh, he's not easy. He's got some Cretan archers here. Skippy Eye's got a lot of uh cavalry. I believe they're not upgraded. Oh wow. The banner carrier just killed their general. And he's got he's got a lot of dudes over here. They look like uh oh wow, they're Paetorian cohort. I'm not used to seeing them around, but yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got a lot of Archer Auxiliary over here. See, this is a kind of a threat for me. Because they can hit some, some serious distance. So, let's see what's going on here. Because I, I reformed my army and they're just coming up. Look at this dumbass. I'm sorry, I have to call him a dumbass. You're charging pikemen with your cavalry. And then you're engaging Macedon's cavalry with their pikemen nearby on a hill. So you're going uphill to fight these guys, but then these guys come downhill to spear you off your horses. So we got more dudes charging into pikes once again. Pretty gay. I don't know what this guy's thinking, to tell you the truth. And he's trying to get uh, go around, and they're, there's half of these dudes aren't even in pike formation, and they're still looking at this. Done. Finished. Wow. That sucks. That one charge just smoked them. So what else we got here? So all this cavalry is pretty much gone. I never would have did that. <laughs> Look at the setup. Let's put this dude in the middle of, like his general, right in the middle of his uh, Paetorian cohort. I don't think he's got upgrades. I f I forgot. The, I'm gonna check when when uh see if he had upgrades. But I'll tell you what, he's got a lot of good archers. So as you can see, them uh, he mopped up Gaul, and he's gonna mop up that garbage player that loves to use artillery in C CWB matches. So what I'm doing here is um, just bringing up my guys, walking them. 
Uh, this is a lot of my art. Some of my archers are winded, warmed up, tired, you know, whatever. And I've got my tree REI. They're still chilling. It's a pretty depleted tree REI. These guys back here must be totally pwned. So I got yeah, my three tree, tree REI. I got my general still alive, which that's a, that's a plus. I believe he's up here. Yeah, here he is. That's good. It's always good to have your general alive. Because, uh, yeah, the morale is important. Um, my urbans are fresh, so that's always a plus. <laughs> so I'm just going to walk my ass up here. See, if I, if, if I could get some lucky shots on his archers, that would be good for me. Because, uh, you know, I, I think if you have an advantage to take kill some units... If it's not, like, straight-up confrontation, who cares, man? I mean, you don't see the Red Room walking up the hill. It's going to take me forever, man. You know, it's, like, ridiculous. And my son has something to say about that. Tell Marcus. Good boy. Yeah, see? He said, who gives a crap? That's what I heard him say. Look at this guy. You know, even though he... he you know, countercharge those cavalry with pikes being smart. Look at his archers, man. Well, what is that? They, every time they shoot, they're getting pwned. Completely. Like, those archer auxiliary are just getting smoked. I mean, are smoking those Cretans because the Cretans are all over the place. But his archer auxiliary is, is not in the perfect position either because they're, too, they're, all, they're not spread out. Which is pretty stupid as well. You gotta spread those suckers out, man. You hear my son in the background? Yeah, he's a champ. He called that guy a noob. <laughs> so you can see... <laughs> he's using fire arrows. Why? I, I'm See, I think I got lucky. <laughs> this is a noob game. I mean, I don't like being calling people noobs because, you know, sometimes when I get my my butt handed to me on the silver platter with a smile, uh, people call me a noob, you know, and I, I don't like it. But, you know, sometimes you just can't help yourself, you know. Looks like he, he fixed that up a bit, though. He's trying now. And he's, you know, you can tell he's got his uh, pikes in the straight formation and he's got his uh, um, cavalry behind him. I think, yeah, there's his, uh, no, his generals around here somewhere. It's Alexander the Great. He's one of these units. No, I guess not. He's maybe in his cavalry unit. I find it hard to believe. I remember, um, oh, okay, yeah, he is. Everybody say hi to Alexander the Great. Yeah, you don't see that too often. He's just waiting for battle, man. He's a minister of death praying for war. And it looks like he's trying to uh, get his army reformed. Um, yeah, he makes some bad decisions because I know, I know this this right here could slaughter pretty much your whole army. Uh, this guy in Pepper, uh, Peppy, or some crap. This guy's really good. He uses them all the time. Okay, see, um, what I'm doing right here is I'm rushing my archers up, taking advantage of this. I need to, to take out as many of those guys as possible. And uh, he starts complaining, saying, hey, what are you guys, uh, you can't, the only way you can get kills is ganging up on me? I, because the other guy does something stupid. Oh, uh, not something stupid, he takes advantage of him, too. He tries to kick his butt. You know? I love doing free-for-alls, by the way. Free-for-alls are my favorite. Only one I can get in there, man. Sometimes you can't get in these free-for-alls because they only screw up. It's only something going on. So uh, right now I have uh, I have an advantage. I'm off shooting fire arrows, so I get more arrows out in a quicker amount of time. So every time I fire, he's and plus his guys are all bunched up. So what does he do? He splits up his forces. Oh, he brings a handful of men. Oh, this is an urban cohort right here. Oh, it's Praetorian. I thought I looked at urban. So I brought up my guys just in time, man. 
And I told these guys, get the hell out of here, man. Like, this is like a stupid moron. See, that really pissed me off. Yeah, I mean, I have him on fallback mode, so why are you getting up in there, man? Alright, as you can see, he's bunched his dudes up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start surrounding them. What I needed to do was make sure those archers got the hell out of there. And they didn't. <laughs> so I still have my Triaria back there. I forgot to put them on run mode. And uh, so I take my uh, urbans here. And I just like start slaughtering the death out of these unupgraded units. Yeah, they get pwned. I think he would have had a better, um, better chance if he committed his whole army towards me. But they're not really upgraded that well, you know what I'm saying? So they're just a bunch of dudes, all bunched up. So what I really wanted to do was make sure none of these guys leave. So what I do is I rush this unit up here. I need to surround these guys. So we look at he brings up his guys and he smashes through his army. What did I do? I hit the back of these guys. And one starts routing. It starts getting a little bit contagious. See, now he commits the rest of his army. That's cool. It's a little late, but... So what I'm going to do here... Yeah, I got some Triarii. I want to take out this cavalry. And my archers are still up in the mix, man. And this is stupid. I don't know what happened here. It's probably glitched. This is probably a dumb move here. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. So you can see, he's he's going up and around him. He's going to try and take him out. He's trying to get some free kills, but... It ain't working, son. It ain't working. So I need to get my general... I saw my general's getting smoked. There he is. Uh, no, he's one of these guys. I told my uh, archers to start striking him. He should have sent these guys back, but I guess he didn't realize they were... Uh, yeah, you know, still in the mix. So I see his uh he's got his cavalry, so I'm bringing up my uh, my cavalry and my triarii to uh, take care of him. But as you see, this is some crappy cavalry right now. I barely have anything. So I want to make sure that I don't get struck. That's the that's one thing I don't want. Let's get struck. But there's one, they're trying to run the hell out of there, and I'm a little worried. But uh, I struck them in the back again. But they are, they're strike, they're just smoking my guys right now. I, I can't have that. It's good that my general's still alive. Um, yeah, so Macedon pulled his dudes away. My general's still right here. He's right here. Yeah, we are. Wow, my son's pissed. He's awesome. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Sorry, guys. I usually pause this stuff, but uh, recently I haven't had a uh, chance in hell of uh, making a new video here. There you go, bud. All right, yeah. So uh, they're starting to rat over here, which is pretty awesome. So what I do is I try to cut them off. This is a pretty bloody battle. I lost a lot of guys in this fight. There we go. He came back from routing, and he got smoked. So would I just strike him right away, man? I don't let these guys get away. He just get owned. So I, these guys are running after him. I tell them to stop. I just tell my archers they're striking him. Look at all this blue. It's a lot of blue. So what's going on over here is uh, Macedon is going to be engaging with uh, Pontus. Which Pontus is uh, doing pretty... Uh, he, he survived against Gaul. I mean, it's not that hard. We all know that. Uh, but Pontus has got uh, chariots, which really rock. I love chariots. I never I never use them, though. Which, um, I, once in a while, I use them. I'll try. I, I, one thing I don't use is those stupid British chariots. Man, they suck. They're by far like the worst thing I've ever ever seen. 
you know, I charge uh, cavalry, and uh, I, I, I always have them upgraded to gold, gold, and they just get smoked. Like, guard, they're like they're nothing. So he's kind of corner camping over here. I was like, you know, uh, I'm like, oh, whatever. These guys aren't that upgraded. Um, I'll let Pontus, uh, well, actually, what I want to do is get Pontus's um, chariots close to my archers because I need to flame them. Because uh, that's like the worst. You definitely don't want those chariots uh, anywhere near your, your infantry. Cause, uh, yeah, I was talking about that impeppeter, uh, something imposter Peppy. So it's one really good room total war player online. He, um, he, man, he has a setup where he's got chariot archers, and they're protected by uh, heavy chariots. So, and he has archers. So you have to either you take out his archers or you chase these chariots. But they're in a circle, a scenario circle. You know, so you're off the bat screwed. If you try to charge at his chariots, all, all of a sudden his heavy chariots come by and smoke your, ca your cavalry. So you're at a loss, you know, you're going to lose. You know, and I, I'm, I'm tired of that. I, I got so pissed at one match, I was like, it's like, dude, why don't you, like, play a different army? I think actually he did one time, but uh, I charged his Paetorian Cavalry with two Cataphract units there, gold, gold. I brought a spear unit over, um, Eastern Infantry, to support them, which I didn't really need to, but they were standing right there. And he managed to kill both Cataphracts and wrap my Eastern Infantry. So I, I thought he was cheating or something, and, and uh, every different name... I must have played against him with like six, seven different names, and I, I said, oh yeah, man, the word's out that you're, you're a hacker. And he got all freaked out. <laughs> so, uh, my army's all formed up again. And they're up on that hill. So what I wanted to do there, is, you know, while I'll let these guys, you know, sort of fight. I accept those chariots back there. I wanted those things done. And as you can see, his, um, his line is pretty bad. It's too thinned out. He's going to get pwned. It definitely if he thinks he's going uphill. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, uh, he's got, he's got some work cut off. Yeah, so here he goes. Going to engage the Great Mastodon. So I wasn't going to engage his, um, his infantry, so he's, I think he was kind of worried about it. It's all good. There we go. I still have sort of an army. My archers are being stupid. Uh, I told him to go in loose formation. You know, just fill up the spot right back here. And uh, what did they do? They're like, oh, let's, uh, how about we take a big chunk here, a little chunk here, a little big of a medium, medium chunk. You know, they're just they're all whacked out. I just wanted them all to be in, uh, you know, one normal, even uh, thing. So I just kind of effed up. So he since uh, he sent out, sent out his cavalry. I guess he was just trying to chase the archers away or something. Um, that didn't work too well. I think he killed a couple archers on that. But I, I'll tell you what. I don't think he's moving. If he does, he's crazy. If either of these guys move, they're crazy. So here you go. Look, he's got his uh, Cap Cappadocian cavalry and his uh, jab cav. Looks like depleted. Them no um, no jabs left. Um, looks like he's got upgrades on his uh, dudes over here. They're fresh too, which is awesome. Of course, they're unhappy over taking casualties. Who would be? Now this is the big big threat right here. I told him, dude, you got you got to get rid of them chariots, so you're a dead man. Just one chariot will take out all of his cavalry. He must be high, man. So I'm like, I gotta do something because, God forbid, if he beats Macedon, I'm in trouble, dude. I can't have these dudes coming up behind my my line and just, just you know slicing me up and all. And the good thing about these guys is that they have them spikes up in the front by the horses. So if you try to attack the horses, man, you're gonna get impaled, bro. So I think I start moving my uh, my archers up, actually my whole army, because 
I want to get in position or close enough to uh, take on these um, chariots. I've had some bad situations with them. So as you can see on these, my wings, they're in spread out formation because I don't have enough guys. I just want to make sure my center is intact because I, uh, the whole time they've been charging, you know, one unit and they've been clumped up. So I wasn't really worried about these guys here as much. You know, but of course you got to worry a little bit. They they gain one experience chevron during that fight, during their fights. Um, you can tell they're pretty well depleted, so nothing there. Just seeing this for the first time, yeah, man. They're the only ones gaining stuff, I guess. Oh, they got wow. It's <laughs> pretty good, man. So we got two guys that gain experience. I'm sure, my archers did a little bit too. Um, my cavalry for sure, they had to. I mean, I try to keep my general away a little as, as much as possible, but you know it's kind of hard to do. So my name in this is Praetor Santucci. So I kind of think of him as the Praetor. If you guys seen that movie, uh, that uh, series Spartacus, it's the most badass thing I've ever seen in my life. Man, I love that when they uh, took on Glaber's army, dude. The very last episode, season two. That was cool. If you got, I'm wondering, how come there's no friendly fire? I mean, if you, you run into your cavalry, dude, you're screwed. You like how the elephants just go berserk and shit? Oh, wow, he's so effed. All he has to do is walk around there. Look at all these dudes. Holy crap. So yeah, you look at that. Look at that. He's charging them. I gotta get over there. Oh wow, whatever unit that is is screwed. Holy oh wow, he actually ran at those. It's amazing how they just get up. <laughs> he barely took out some dudes, man. Barely. So he's got these guys, but I think I'm gonna start flaming them. So I can't have this. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, that's gotta suck. Oh wow. He just got him. He, uh. Wow, he routes those guys too. So I think Macedon's gonna win this fight in the cavalry department. There's just too many of them. So that's good for him. And I flame those guys over here. You can see, they're gone. Whole big squad of them. I couldn't. I couldn't take that. I think he's got one more cherry. As far as I know, because I know there's two of them that were inflaming. I flamed. So um, unless, oh, okay, yeah, I got. I got two of them. Yeah. So I. I don't have to worry about those guys too much. Which is pretty cool. So uh, I'm waiting for them to finish the battle. I don't really want to jump in now because it's kind of messed up. If I did that. It's different with Scipio. With Scipio, you know. So look at these jerk -offs. Running out there until you run out there. You're crazy. I think one mistake I made over here is like I didn't want them to fall back and then get broken, you know, split up from the army. But I don't really know what they're doing over here. Oh, you know what I was trying to do? I was trying to hit his cavalry with fire arrows. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, actually, I don't think that's right now, but it's uh, soon. Yeah, this Macedon's probably the smartest player in this game right now. Or in the whole game, I'm guessing. Because Gull could have beaten... Uh, nah, Gull couldn't beat Pontus. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Are you serious, dude? Let's just charge without your pikes, man. Oh, wow. That's retarded. Look at this. Bam. Good night. Oh, so finished. Doesn't matter, man. Now they're boxed in. All he has to do is take these guys off guard mode, man. That's it. 
Look at that, their backs are towards him. Wow, Mastodon lost his cavalry there, but it don't matter anymore. These guys are screwed. Oh, yeah. You should get his cavalry over here and take those dudes out, man. I don't know what he's doing. There it comes. Here comes the cavalry. Take out some marchers, too, while you're at it. I think that's his general unit. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. So now uh, he don't have to worry about uh, Pontus. So now he's going to be fighting me. This is pretty cool. My little man's crying. Where's your binky? So I'm out of Pila. I have no Pila. Which kind of sucks. But, you know, that's what happens when you... Uh, take on a uh, guy with artillery and you're kind of uh, unorganized when it comes to that. See, I don't like this. I was actually going after his uh, horses with uh, art with uh, fire arrows, but uh, he, uh, right off the bat, man, he's like, yeah, I'm going to march up there with my infantry and uh, stop that. Uh, as you see now, he's moving up his infantry. You see, the good thing about, you know, this is how I have a hill advantage. He's got cavalry over there chasing those units. And he's got, uh, I st still have a crazy unit over here. And another one, too. I was worried about them uh, striking the back of my lines. The good thing about this, I mean, sure, he's got a lot of men. But, oh, see, this is what pissed me off. I told him to run. Get the hell out of it. I told him, like, tw a million clicks. I was so pissed. And then this jerk, jerk off stops running. I tell, you know, I'm like, what the hell? So I have my guys on guard mode. I kind of wish I didn't. Looks like we we're kind of on even ground. I should have moved up a bit. But we sort of got an incline. Um, yeah, I should have turned those guys around. But here comes his cavalry. I need to stop that. So I uh, dispatched my triaria. I still have them. That's important, man. He he saw that and he's like, I'm out of here, bro. Peace. So I turn around. I'm hoping he like, oh, let me strike at the back of these guys. And uh, what happens? Takes the bait. Because these guys act quickly. Bam! Get some. Get some. My guys are all gold, gold triarii, so. So I send my cavalry over here, too. My general, I think it was. Or no, maybe the other cavalry. But I routed those two, and his general is one of them. So, yeah. I'm not going to catch his general, I don't think. Or maybe I do. Guess he's over here. Oh, okay. I thought I, I looked over there, but that he gets away. Now you can see these units are so outmanned. It's bringing more cavalry over here. But dude, you're fighting urban cohort, dude. These guys in the back don't do anything, so they're ready for battle. So I bring my. Um, guys back down here and then he turns around and strikes him so I strike him back and I got um, my archers uh, my tree area I'm gonna bring over that's what happened my generals in the mix man it's kicking ass who knows who would have won that fight
Yeah, they're cheering, man, because they know they kick ass. All right, so I got this this archer unit, man. Just just routing like a bunch of cowards. So I bring my Triarii around the back, see if I can strike a couple of these guys. And my general... Uh, okay, no, this is actually later. I'm thinking of something else. So he, he turns around, and I charge at these guys. So I'm taking out as many as I can. And uh, these guys route. If I had the Roman armor general unit, I could charge the horn and probably bring some guys back. So these guys are freaking gone, man. I don't blame them. They did a good job. Great job they did. So these guys are just holding off these dudes for now, and that's cool. So it's time to do some flanking attacks, bro. And I'm, I'm hoping that, uh... At the time, I was hoping, man, I hope I get these guys down. Look, my general's got two men. Him and someone else. Damn. So what happens is he turns around. I take him off guard mode, smash him. Now their pikes are useless because now they're not. They're too far away to actually have a full advantage. I don't know what the hell happened there. He just randomly charged, and that pissed me off. That was gay as hell. Dude, you see how far he was? I think I tried to bring him around, and he happened to just see a, a unit and just charge at it. What are you going to do, you know? And he runs. So these guys are surrounded. The urban cohorts breathing down their necks, and I also have uh, my archers just ripping these guys in half. I think I'm hitting this unit or this unit. Forgot which one. But see, he routes those urbans right there. I was a little worried because now he's going after these. Dude, I was like, oh crap. So I take my archers and just slam them from the back. It was actually sounded pretty bad, but. Um, I think he got excited and he forgot to put his guys back in phalanx formation. I could have been finished in this side so quickly. Put him in phalanx formation, take him off guard mode, it's done, it's finished. Alright, so these guys were out from, uh, I'm guessing it was my arrows. So now, I'm um, fighting these two units over here. So that, that routing unit is scaring the hell out of this unit. I'm telling you right now, because I was screwed. You saw that, I was pretty much going to lose. Now I can see the Urbans are making their way around this unit here. We're still, we're only winning it and they're very tired. So my, uh, my archers are really wrecking havoc on these uh, units here. Oh man, these units are screwed. Look at this. Finished, dude. My archers over here just killing them. So now, look, mass route two, three. We got these units, so I take them all. Let's go at them, dude. I tell my archers to strike whatever, whatever you can, man. Try not to let these guys get away, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, I'm going to chase them off the field. So you see all those dudes I just killed. I'm going to fast forward. Alright, look at that. Look at my men deployed. Look at the kills. I got like a thousand more kills than this guy, that next guy. I still have 422 guys remaining. My uh, Praetorian Cavalry, they both got 270 kills, so it's a tie. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Time to take, uh, time to pick up the little guy and uh, play with him. Alright, dudes, uh, let me know 
what you think. And uh, I, I can't wait to do more free-for-alls. I got a barbarian one coming up. Uh, I got to find time to do that. Peace out.